Hey guys, welcome back to Fun Fiero. I'm Andy. I'm Liz. Guys, we're here to share our fun, love, and passion for all things Disney with you guys. So thanks for hanging out with us today. Guys, if you are brand new to our channel, please consider subscribing so we can share more videos like this. And also, if you will, give the video a big like. Yeah, if you, uh, if you enjoy the video for sure. But what are we doing today, Liz? Today we are talking about one of my most favorite topics. It has arrived, the day has arrived. Finally, we're gonna do the entire Lounge Fly collection. The whole thing. The whole thing. So that's why this is all like blank. Mm -hmm. We're gonna. Oh yeah. We're gonna. Okay. Yeah. So. So how do how are we gonna go about doing this? We're just. No, we. I may need a little bit more room. Why don't you okay. scoochy boochy that way a little bit? Okay. Oh, so we can just put some stuff here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. 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 Maybe a little bit more. Okay. Just yeah, move. I mean, because I mean, I gotta expand. You know. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay, that's so that enough room there. So I'm pretty maybe a little bit more that way though. Sure, so just Yeah, that's perfect. Alright guys, let's get started. We're gonna start with the man, the mouse, and he is my Christmas Mickey and I love him. So he is super, super soft like crushed velvet. His little white is all kinds of soft too, so that little fur. He has the little pockets on the side. All right, so both of those, that's where his Disney Parks Lounge Fly plaque is. And almost every Lounge Fly has hidden Easter eggs inside, and his Easter eggs are awesome. I mean, check out all those little Mickeys that we've got running around. This bag, super cool. I loved carrying him for Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. All right, so here is Halloween Mickey. I love the fact that he's got the little green. I love his little ears. He's super, super soft. He's got little pockets on the outside of him too. He also has that front zipper so you can store things in there. And this bag I got last year, I had bought the Haunted Mansion bag with a little ghosty, but the plastic came scratched. Um, so then I returned that one, got him, <laughs> and happened to get him on sale. So he's an awesome bag. I was totally thinking that I might carry him to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. Um, but that got canceled. So, I don't know, he's still in the running for to take with us for our trip to October. He's so super cute and I love his stitching on there. Just the, the attention to detail on these bags is great. This is Mr. Yeti. He is so stinking cute. He's got a little blue face and his little teeth and oh, just like snow, he's all fuzzy. He has that Disney Parks Lounge Fly tag on him. He does have the pockets on either side and because he is so white, I haven't taken him out of the house yet but I'm going to work up the courage. I love his little Yetis that are inside the bag for his Easter egg. He is just awesome. Hey, Maleficent, my favorite villain. This bag is awesome. Alrighty, you got purple, you got black, you got her horns, you got side pockets. And this one actually has that pushed out pocket in the front. So it can, you can fit more stuff in there. And I love her Easter egg because it's the old fashioned animated Maleficent. Man, you just can't go wrong with this bag. I like warm hugs. So here's my Olaf bag. I love him. Um, he's got his little twigs. He's got his little twigs up top. He's got his little carrot nose. His little cold button right there. It's a Disney Parks Lounge Fly plaque on this. He is the absolute first sequin bag that I ever got. And I was a little bit worried that I was going to pick the sequins. But so far, he's like stood the test of time. And he helped me get over my little sequin fear. Another thing I do like about him though is that he's got a black base. So you don't have to worry when you put him down somewhere that his little black base might get dirty. And little Olaf is magical. Because every time I carry this bag, even if there's no snow in the forecast or no rain in the forecast, it precipitates. So I need to carry him all the time when we're having fires around Colorado. He's super cool. Now this is the bag that I got it, we didn't get it when we went down for, in December on our cruise, but I totally saw this bag being carried by a lady at the Grand Floridian. Had to have it, so I Amazoned it when I got back. It's got Belle, you've got Lumiere, Cogsworth, you've got the pockets on the side. It's got the front pocket, which I do like that for like extra storage, and it's got your Disney lounge fly tag. But I love the little Easter eggs because I love everything about Beauty and the Beast. So having Chip and Mrs. Potts and the Rose and Lumiere and and the little Cogsworth and the castle. I love the attention to detail in this bag. And the roses on the outside are my favorite. So, hey, this is an awesome bag. Minnie is so beautiful. This is actually my second sequin bag. Andy got this for me for Valentine's Day because I had an absolute fit that I needed it. 
I love her though. I love the fact that her ears are on the back of the bag. Her bow is right up front, but it doesn't hit or take off up a whole lot of room. She does have those cool side pockets. Okay, the Disney Parks Bones so my tag. And then she does have the zippered front. Once again, for a little bit of extra storage. So, but she is beautiful and I love taking her out. I get so many compliments when I'm wearing the red mini. Everybody loves this bag. All right, classic Stars and Stripes Forever Mini Mouse. I love this bag. Once again, another sequin bag. Alrighty, and it's got the cool detail of the stars and the stripes right there on the bow, right there on the zipper, even on the straps, y'all. They could not have made this more patriotic. I loved carrying this 4th of July. And the neat thing about this bag, I get a whole ton. I think, I think I've probably gotten the most compliments about this bag because when she's outside in the sunshine, she sparkles and she glitters. And man, people just come up here and say, oh, that's a great bag. And I was like, I'm always like shopbusy.com. Not sponsored by the way, but you wouldn't mind. But yeah, this bag is man just for the pretty and you just can't go wrong. You just can't go wrong with her. He came like, like a much anticipated Christmas. He finally came. The child, the package, the asset, baby, baby Yoda. Whatever you want to call him, this bag is stinking cute. Alrighty, he doesn't have any side pockets. He does have the zipper up front. He's got the cute little frog up front here. His little ears are kind of close to the bag, which I do like because you're not as prone to hit things with him. He's a great, great color. He's really super soft and he's smiling. Look at how happy he looks. He's going to do a smile and it's stitching on the smile, which is really super cut, cute. He's got his Star Wars placard right there. And then in his Easter egg, he actually has a zipper pocket, which is super cool. But then you've got him eating the frog, you know, got him smiling over here, got him like no middle mouth over there, and then got him in his pram. So pretty much, I mean, it's the best of Baby Yoda in there. He's stinking cute. Here's my little Ewok. He's a super, super soft bag. He's got little pockets on the side. I love his little Easter egg. He also has another zipper pocket with all the little Ewoks in there. And then his little face, all right, it's so fuzzy. It's so fluffy and soft. He does have a zipper pouch up front. Star Wars Lounge Black Placard. All right, he's always super fun to carry as well. You can't beat an Ewok. Oh man, I love my little droids. This is a BB-8. He doesn't make noises. Do, 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 do. But he could. He's super fun. All right, you've got the little resistance emblems over here. He's got the Star Wars Lounge Fly Placard up front. He also has that zipper pocket. But then just look at him. The attention to detail on him is awesome. He does have a little orange base. Once again, if you've got that white bag, you don't have to worry about putting him down, especially on your floorboard or your car or something, so he's not gonna get dirty. But he's always super fun to carry. I might need an R2-D2. And you'll look, and this Easter egg is a little R2-D2 and a little BB-8. And I do love these little droids together. Here's my Ray bag. So this is the final four Star Wars bag that I have. You might get the idea I like Star Wars a little bit. I don't know, maybe. This bag is super fun. It's another one of those soft, supple bags. It, does, it has the little pockets on the side. Great for your cell phone, whatever else you need to carry. Um, it does have that Star Wars plaque and then just that easy zipper pocket up front so you can keep more stuff in it. I do like to carry this bag because it's kind of a sneak attack bag. Because you don't really realize until you get kind of close up on it that it's actually a Star Wars lounge fly. So it kind of goes, you know, with me and it's really super cool. <laughs> Here's Sorcerer Mickey. He is my favorite Mickey. I love him. Um, this is an ink and paint bag. So the Easter egg is ink and paint. He's got little paint brushes for his zipper pulls. Um, he has his little sorcerer hat on. All right. And even though the sorcerer hat and the ears are on the front of the bag, all right, he's still really super easy to carry and you don't really hit his little head on a lot of stuff. Um, but I just love how every, every zipper Zipper pull is a paintbrush. He's got his Disney Parks little placard right here. And he's just all dressed up like Storage Room Mickey. He does have that a little pocket right here that you can unzip and store stuff. He's also got the little side pockets as well. But still, it's so super cool when you put stuff inside of him to be able to see that. It is awesome. Here's Safari Mini. When you're ready to get to Animal Kingdom, she's ready to be your tour guide. She is so pretty. I love her little hat. I love her outfit. The green is a real supple. She does have that front zipper part. She does have side pockets, okay? 
Those flaps also come up, but there's no little pocket underneath them. But it's really neat that that attention to detail is there. She's got the Disney Parks Lounge Fly. And if you check it out, alrighty, it's like Animal Kingdom, you know, tour guide since 1998. Just uh, all the different scenes of the Animal Kingdom are on her Easter egg. Definitely a bag that you'd want to take to the Animal Kingdom. It all started with a mouse. This is my original lounge fly bag, all right? I love him. I love his little pants, the little dots, the little fact that his, his zipper pull is a little hand. He just has the Disney lounge fly logo. The ears are set back, which I do like. He does also have the side pockets, um, but I do love how every element of Mickey is in his Easter egg. And he is definitely my original lounge fly, and I always love carrying him. I think this is one of my prettiest bags. All right, it has a nice color on it. It kind of goes from pink to purple. All right, it's, it's a Disney Parks placard on here too. It does have the side pockets. You've got that front pocket up front. But everything I love about visiting the parks is down on this back. So, you know, from ears to Minnie's bow to a key to the key to the castle, there are even little mini lounge flies on here. All right, just looking around this bag, it's like, ah, oh, you can almost pictures herself at the park walking down main street time for a mickey premium bar this is my captain marvel bag this is one of the first bags i also got okay the attention to detail on this bag is really really nice it's the marvel placard on here for lounge fly she's got side pockets she's also got that zipper up front um and i really just fine if i had a superpower i would totally want to fly just like captain marvel so I always feel really super chipper. She's kind of somehow powerful when I carry this bag. Here's Moana. Now Moana is one of my favorite princesses. I really love this bag. Okay, you've got Hey Hey on one side. You've got Pooh on the other. They're both in the front. On the Easter egg you got them hanging out. You also have a zipper pocket. Um, but this actually feels like canvas. All right, so it's not the smooth of the other bags, um, but it, and there's just something about it that makes me think of Hawaii and a luau and hanging on the beach, maybe walking on a volcano. I love the colors, the turquoise and the pink. Right, it's just a Disney lounge fly. Right, we actually got this from Box Lunch. It is a Box Lunch exclusive. And um, yeah, she's got two different two different zippers on here to, to store stuff in addition to that third one inside of the bag. And it's always, I always feel like I should be drinking a Dole Whip when I'm carrying her. How can you beat a lounge fly bag that's Disney that also has a dog ball in the front? This is a great bag. It, once again, is one of those more subtle bags. I can kind of sneak up on it to be able to see all the different dogs that are on it. Um, it's really super soft on the pockets on the side. The straps are striped, so that's kind of neat and different. It does have that same zipper pocket up front, and it's just a Disney lounge fly on the front. And then um, the neat thing, though, is if you look over here at the zipper pull, it's also a dog paw. And the Easter egg inside, you've got all kinds of Disney dogs and all their names and the little paw prints. And pretty cool, you have another zipper storage inside the bag. This one, man, from the feel of the handle to the feel of the sides to that dog paw on the front, I do love this bag. Now this bag is not exactly a mini backpack, um, but it does have Chip and Dale on it and they are some of my all-time favorite characters they're so mischievous still by loungefly still has that disney loungefly placard you still got their little acorns up front um and it's kind of corduroy it's really super soft their little flower up here is stitched so that's also kind of neat that just that attention to detail and there is the easter egg i'm gonna go ahead and open up this bag and show you guys that in all of these bags in order to help them keep their shape, I do have packing materials in there. So just to let you know, but yeah, this bag is a little bit bigger, okay? And Morgan actually loves this bag and carries this bag more than I do. But it's definitely a lot of storage space. And how can you go wrong with Chip and Dale? Gosh, guys, where did Andy go? He's been gone for a while. Andy. Hey, so I, I couldn't hear your voice anymore. I, I'm, you went ahead and did it, didn't you? Well, I, I 
wasn't sure where you'd go. I didn't know how far exactly I was supposed to go, but anyways, it's gorgeous though. Did you show them everything? Did you tell them about it? I totally showed them everything. Okay. Totally, you know, Easter eggs, everything. All right. Every single lounge fly, though not the wallets. That's, yeah, okay. So no, no, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. So maybe, maybe, maybe there's a video I could be in then in the future. Absolutely. I'm sure we'll have more room for you with just the wallet. What a great collection you yeah. have. And um, it's definitely growing for sure. It is. I remember it when is. it just started with this little guy right here yeah. and how it's blossomed. And you guys have been awesome, awesome, awesome watching all the videos where we unbox it. And uh, so much fun. it just brightens our day to like really share it with you guys because it's such a beautiful collection and it's so much and fun I for you to carry. I wear these bags. Yeah. I, I take these bags out except for except Yeti. Except for Yeti. Yep. But he's going yep. out someday soon. <laughs> um, but when the fires are over. But yeah, I do wear these bags. I do take them out. I do enjoy taking that piece of Disney with me. And now I'm such a nerd. I've started coordinating my shirts with my bags. <laughs> And then I'm going to coordinate magic bands when I go to the parks. There you go. Well, hey, guys, thanks for hanging out with us today. Let us know if you had a favorite in the collection and what it is. We'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Absolutely. And then also, guys, if you will, if you enjoyed the video, give it a big like. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. So that way we can share even more Loungefly coming up, more unboxings, more adventures. We need more Loungefly. Yes. <laughs> Oh, and we're not sponsored by Lounge Line. No. Just to kind of throw that out there. Yep. But hint, hint, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. I would love that. Right. Yeah. We weren't. We weren't paid to do this. We weren't given anything no. to do this. We just enjoy sharing with you guys. And until next time, get out there, have some fun, and, and we'll, we'll see, see you on, on the flip, flip side. side.